Welcome back, Limit Coaster fans. And, uh, how to make a great park series. We're gonna look at what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. Oh, here's a view from uh, underneath the water going inside that I put those terrain pieces in. A little shot of the roller coaster. Here's a spot with some food. High cholesterol, get it? All the hamburgers and hot dogs and french fries. And, oh, yeah, I made a roller coaster. It's different than the one that uh, I put in there in the video. I'm sorry about that. Didn't like it. By the way, we're not going to ride it right now. But I thought I'd give you a little shot to uh, kind of prime your excitement. The one that I put in there wasn't that great. Anyway, this is looking through the tunnel. You can see I put uh, an elevated steps and shops on the top floor, and there's bathrooms, and first day down below. Here's a little look back at the sci-fi area. And I threw this in here just because I thought it would be fun. Take a quick walk through here one more time. And still, nobody's wearing the space bomber hats. Got their pirate hats on. Nothing else. Coming through here backwards, and as you can see, there's still an awful lot of park left, guys, so I hope that you're still up for me continuing this. I'm having a good time doing it. And I really appreciate those of you who are faithful watchers and commenters and likers. It's been a lot of fun to communicate with you. Put the beginning of this uh, video camera route back in because uh, I think the fountain is kind of cool and people seem to be commenting a lot about that fountain, so I thought I'd show it off just a little bit more time. This, uh, you got the lion shows and the tiger shows there that uh, I didn't go back in. I didn't want to make the video too long. Everybody, people seem to only be watching for a couple of minutes. And I figured if I talked, uh, maybe they'd watch the whole thing. And you see, I've changed the columns here. I put bathrooms inside them to kind of hide them because people were walking around with their hands between their legs. <laughs> I figured, okay, we need more toilets. Ah, see, there's a guy coming out. He feels much better looking in front. Put some souvenirs over here. I call it useless crap. Nobody's going in there. I don't know what to say about that. It's like they can read the sign. So here's kind of a look from down below at the front of uh, what I'm calling the marina because it's water sports. We've got little pedal boats in the shape of pirate ships, and we got uh, the dolphin show and the orca show, and a bunch of jet skis. My whole intention here was to try to uh, build a big thing of water so that you could ride your jet skis around and watch the uh, watch the shows at the same time. So it's working out okay, I guess. Uh, you may notice that we have a few extra jet skis coming out of there. I stacked three rides on top of themselves just to get more traffic. So the ride only has like about six, and you can see that there's uh, a lot more than six jet skis in the water. So anyway, um, I put this viewing area in here not realizing that you know, it's going to look cool from outside, but where do you see the shot when we go indoors? Because um, you can see all the scenery is intact right there. When we get inside, though, it's going to be a little bit different. Now, this lady here looks like she's trying to pedal her, her jet ski as well. You notice I put some columns on the corners of these so I can put more flags on it so I've changed the stuff a little bit from what you saw in the last video I hope you guys don't mind that I added a few things every time I try to do this I wind up changing stuff around so and I got the mermaids in there I made this bridge so that you could put the jet skis underneath 
I thought maybe the peeps would just be going all around, but you know, the artificial intelligence of the game just makes them take straight paths, and they don't zoom around like you normally would on a jet ski, at least not the way I normally would. So I got a few shots of riding on those, and some shots of circling around the park here, so you can see what the, the whole water sports arena place looks like day and night. Had to add bathrooms down at the bottoms of the stairs because it's too far to walk all the way around for the peeps. Like too many peeps need to use the toilet. Except getting that pop-up. Like I was saying, I built this roller coaster to conform to the the building and the uh, area itself, rather than building the coaster. Here we're coming in through the front, the main entrance now, and we're going to walk inside. You'll see what I'm talking about. But it looks kind of cool when you're down here with the you know peep side view, with the seahorse fountains. And uh, I thought that the waterfalls on the sides were kind of a cool thing. I should have maybe put some mist particles and given it a little more foam, but you'll notice when we get over there, it's going to make the camera get all wet anyway. So, And of course, we've got our Burmet sentries. And the water coming down, which, uh, like I said, I thought that was a pretty cool effect. Now, when you go inside, it looks way different. See, you can't see the glass walls at all. And you can't see the scenery on the outside edges. And it's like, okay, I forgot. When you're filming underground, it changes everything. And especially if you're right up against the water, it tends to leave stuff out. And the game does that. Not any help from me. I tried putting those pieces back in. Oh, I did this just for fun. This is a mirrored image that I figured out how to do with the, uh, with the Sony program, and I just thought it looked kind of cool, people walking upside down. I'm doing the Johnny Watts thing right now, and uh, this particular lady, I think, is sick from the roller coaster because she had it in the first day. So here you are on the uh, the bumper boats. And there's the tricycles coming out. And this is kind of a close shot. Every time I tried to film this with the camera, I couldn't get a very good view. You notice they can only turn around in one square, so they go out and hit the roses. But anyway, um, this is kind of what I was intending to do. And you can see now the reasons why I took the supports out, because they wouldn't have been able to go through here if the roller coaster had supports everywhere. So I left just enough for the, uh, speaking of roller coaster, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna quiet down. I think I will and let you guys ride this. I'll tell you what, um, I wanna say one more time, thank you for watching and being such good supporters. Please, uh, please be sure to like the video. Stay tuned for some more. Let me know for sure that you want me to keep going. And I will see you on the next one. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Thanks again.